Hello everybody, my name is Tubus Flat, and welcome back to another tier ranking video. Um, this has been a long time coming to do this one, mostly because um, these are tier ranking every WWE Championship design. There are 47 in total for this one. Um, I do want to premise this by saying that I tried to, and I realized that some of them, I believe, did not, or th that some of them did make, survive the cut, I guess. Um, I tried to exclude as many custom titles as I could, so, like, the Radar Championship, the Daniel Bryan Hemp Belt, um, Cena's U.S. Spinner, um... There's like, there's some older titles, like there's like two different Hulk Hogan ones and I think I might just exclude them or exclude one of them because I think they're pretty much the same because at uh, for a while when I was researching these, it's like the WWE was doing similar to what New Japan is doing, which is like they list all the individual champions on the side plates of their belt, um, but obviously so many people win it and there's not going to be not enough room to put their names on said belt side plate so um I think there's like two Hulk Hogan ones I think and then for some reason I thought there was okay yeah then there was a Don Morocco Intercontinental Championship for some reason I thought that was a different one um then there's obviously the Fabulous Moolah title so I guess if they're close enough in design that I'll just disregard them or whatever so without further ado uh, also another premise that there is no United States Championship the same reason that wait did I put the original Cruiserweight Classic in here or the original Cruiserweight Championship um it looks like I did not include the Cruiserweight Championship because I was originally a WCW belt. That's why. And the same thing with the United States titles because it's a w WCW belt. I did include the World Heavyweight Championship because it does have the WWE Scratch logo relief on it. So, I don't know, for, for minor stuff, and I did that with the uh, NXT one that I didn't include minor changes like that but I'm, I'm going to count it just because it was a title that lasted um, for quite a while in WWE so anyway again let's get started with this because it's going to be a long one so up first is the WWF block logo big eagle championship so it's basically the attitude era belt except it's the block WWF logo uh, before they went to the scratch one and it's blue um because i think this belt may have had one major appearance and that was for again um some reason i only associate it with uh drawing a blank here arnold schwarzenegger on a, on a really early episode of smackdown um the belt itself is not bad it's just I the blue pss, I don't know for some even though we'll get to it with the universal title the blue strap is kind of weird for this design really um so I'm gonna throw it in about wearable for the block logo attitude era belt now we come to the fabulous moolah uh, women's championship it has her face on it in the center plate and quite a few jewels a really small red strap um again i think i should just include this as a custom belt but because it was hers and she held it for an x amount of days so i think i'm going to skip the fabulous moolah belt um So 
So I'm going to skip now instead to the Hulk Hogan 1984. Er, okay, see, now again, this is where it gets difficult because there's Hulk Hogan belts that I guess were synonymous with him. Like there's a 1984, 1985, and 86 um, WWF championships. However, does the 86 actually have his name on it? It does not. Where the 85 and 4 do. So I'm just going to skip to the 85 one. Um, I don't think this was a belt that lasted very long either. May have lasted like just for Hogan. The belt itself is really different than anything before. Um, you could tell by its age that it's it was definitely part of that era of that era of like um late 80s wrestling um now does it really hold up now um i think it could to some degree if you got rid of all the WWF stuff on it it could look like a belt for today Excuse me. Um, again, this is all just my personal preference, so I'm going to put it in all right. That Hogan belt. Next up is the green in our Continental Championship. Um, I don't believe this is the one that Patterson held. And I'm probably wrong on that because I don't... Because I'm trying to look at the other icy tiles real quick, and maybe it is the one that he held. Hmm. Um, green strap, we don't see that obviously very often. The only time we see it now is with the 24-7 belt. Um, the side plates are all the same. The main plate doesn't look real great. So I might just put this in the bin because it's definitely kind of showing its age it's not a great looking belt oops I closed up my tab on accident okay now we come to the red intercontinental championship and just the plate designs itself it doesn't look great <laughs> between the main and the side so I'm going to put this also in the bin and Again, these are all just my personal preferences, opinions, so I'm bound to be wrong with some people at some degree. Now we come to the Oval Intercontinental Championship. There's two different versions I have of this. Um, and I'm struggling to find the other one. It has, like, the block logo on it. Where the heck did it go? Oh, well, I'll get to it. I'll find it. Nope, oh, there it is. Um, the Intercontinental title with the Scratch logo and it's a oval, the oval one I believe it was brought back when they retired it for like a couple years at, least, at most um, God. for me it's an iconic title because again I grew I watched wrestling I first started watching wrestling in 2009 and that was the belt design they were using um the oval belt is not really that it's not really thought about greatly like as being a really great looking belt um so I think I'm going to put it in a in bearable and then now we're going to come to the the original design, the one that uh, Shawn Michaels had and Razor Ramon had in the Intercontinental Championship. Um, that was later redesigned and revitalized by Cody. Um, obviously, this belt looks great. Um, compared to the Oval Belt, it looks a lot better than the Oval Belt. Um, nothing I can really say about it. Um, I think we're going to put in Lovely. I don't think it's the best.
best. I feel like it's probably going to go up to the best, but I'm not 100% convinced right now. Uh, the Don Morocco Intercontinental Championship. Should I even really consider this as a... No, because it looks about the same as... No, it is a little different. The side plates look the same. The main plate doesn't. I'm going to skip it. Um, the the Raw Women's Championship. And again, here we go back to the NXT Championship tier ranking video where you have to talk about branding. And I honestly hate it that all the belt types look the same, but I get it for branding reasons. Um, when they unveiled this at Mania 32, um, Yes, the design is very lazy. That it's just a copy and paste, but with a white strap, it stood out really well in a good way. So, because I feel like, if, and this is also going to double for the SmackDown Women's Championship, just because I didn't feel like having doubles. Um, so for the Raw and the SmackDown Women's Championships, white straps. Personally, I like them better than the dark straps. So, um, I'm going to put it in... Whoops. I'm actually, <laughs> I was actually going to drag it in File Explorer. So, I'm going to put it in Lovely, actually. Now, we come to the WWE Championship. Again, it's branding. It's all the same. So, I'm going to put it in... I'm going to put it in... Uh, Oh god, I mm. Okay, that hurts. Um the original WWF championship. Oh boy. Or sorry, the Triple WF Championship, the Worldwide Wrestling Federation. Um Ooh, wow, it's basic. Um It doesn't hold up really well at all. It obviously looks like a museum piece. Um, but it's a real simple design. I think we're going to put it in just, in just about bearable. Next is the World Tag Team Championship. Um, I'm trying to... It's a really... Not the... I guess maybe it was the first WWF as opposed to the WWWF tag team titles, which we'll get to later. It's like post-85 tag team titles. Um, the, ones in the, the ones in the new generation era, we'll put it that way. Um, I, I know a lot of people like these titles. I don't particularly care for them I don't know what it is the plate design just it doesn't mesh with me very well um, and just the blatant and red text world on top of a globe it just it I don't personally care for it that much um, so I'm gonna put it in all right now the Universal Championship so we have the Red Raspberry and Blue Raspberry variant of the Universal title. Um, I know, again, it's a branding thing, so... But for the colors, though... I'm either going to put it at the bottom of All Right or somewhere in About Bearable. I think for the colors alone, I'm going to put it at the top of bearable just based on the colors alone now we come to the uh, the WWE tag team titles that were introduced in 2002 these are another set of titles I did not care for to begin with and then the more and more I see them the more I like them I don't know why I think it's because of the blue text I think it seems like there's different pictures of it and there's like I think the iconic shot of 
Stephanie holding both titles when she was the GM of SmackDown that I just I keep seeing that picture and I just think that those titles look great um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put them in lovely actually let me see how's my formatting look on OBS it's looking alright oh boy now we come to the spinner WWE Championship um, a mixed bag this one personally again I, it was my part of watching wrestling I in retrospect it doesn't look great but for the time and it, again it worked with some people and some it didn't one huge example of it working not working best with was Triple H Triple H looked really dumb with the spinner belt obviously Cena it worked um, Punk worked um, Ray for the hour that he held it worked um Oh my god, I'm drawing a blank on who else won this title. Jeff Hardy. Edge. RVD. For some, again, for some it works, some it doesn't. So, but for personal personal opinion, I'm going to put it in all right. Now the 24, now we come to the 24-7 championship. Um... And I think I've maybe I've said this before, maybe not. I don't think I have actually. For the purpose it serves, the twenty four seven championship is okay. For the purpose it serves as just being a throw around prop. Um. So for the twenty four seven title, I'm gonna put it in. All right. That looks really weird putting it next to the spinner belt. And then the current belt. <sighs> okay. I'm already feeling the heat from the pitchforks in the comments section or whatever. Now we come to the the one before the modern logo, which is the scratch logo that Rock unveiled after he won the spinner belt from Punk. This title didn't last very long. Um, no, wait a minute. Or did it? It lasted a little bit, actually, because Rock introduced it. He dropped it to Cena. Cena dropped it to. Oh, no, wait a minute, because somewhere they unified it in between with the world with the big gold belt. So this now actually lasted for a year, I believe, and I'm surprised it actually lasted that long. Um. The scratch logo with that plate design just really doesn't mix with me very well. Um, but since it also says champion, um, which it, it just feels like they really were trying to maximize the amount of space that they had and it just, it wasn't working. Um, I never cared for it when they introduced this over the, over the spinner. Um, so the scratch logo... I'm going to put it in the bin. Sorry. Um, the Divas Championship. <laughs> the Hardcore Championship. Um, the fan theory around this title and its design, I really like. Whether it's true or not is yet to be confirmed that it was the original winged eagle belt that Mr. Perfect smashed together and then that they gave it to Mick Foley. Um, I like the story, but the theory behind it, but whether it's actually implicated or not, I have no idea. And again, just for its purpose, just to be thrown around like a prop. So am I putting it on par with the 24 seven or I'm going to put it above the 24 seven. Oh, that'd be weird to put it in a lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, that just feels weird to put it there. I'm going to put it at the bottom of lovely. Next, 
we come to the white strapped Intercontinental Championship, the one that was retired before the current one. It's just see now here's where I was getting conflicted. Do I put it with this title, this with that one? And I say no because the white strap it just it makes it Mwah, chef's kiss. Um it makes it, it white strap makes it better. It's a great read read remake of this title. It it it's great. Um now the current one I can take it or leave it. On Braun it looked really weird. Um so I think I'm gonna put it in bearable, just again, personal opinion. I think I'm gonna run out of space here in OBS, but I hope not. Um these ones I'm actually leaving them two separate entries. The Raw and SmackDown tag team titles. Colors don't work and they're just lazy redesigns of the next ones I'm getting to, which are the Penny Tag Team titles. Personally, I don't hate these titles. I use them in my 2K universe. I actually like them. That's an underrated opinion. Um, so for the Penny Tag, again, I, I like them, but I don't think I, I they, they, they don't belong up here. So, actually, do I put them in the bottom of the elevator? Or do I put them? Uh, I think I'm going to put them in the top of all right. Next is the undisputed WWE Championship belt. Like, that's one I also thought was really weird. Um, but it started to grow on me as I was using it in my 2K universe. Um, so, for... I actually start to really like this belt, so I'm putting it in the best, the undisputed belt. Now for the women's championship from '98 to 2011. That seems like a re that's a really long lifespan for a championship. Um. It definitely showed its age when they retired it. Um, but again, for the Attitude Era and Ruthless Aggression, it was okay. Um, so I'm going to put it in all right. And I am starting to run out of room here, so pardon me as I give myself more room Whoop. as I give myself more room here there we are okay next is the women's tag team titles I really like these titles um, definitely not what I was expecting when they were introducing tag team champ the women's tag titles um I really like them. The con the contrast I was gonna say, but I think I'm looking for a different term. Um, just just simple gold, silver, and white strap. Nothing absolutely wrong with that. Um, so I'm I'm gonna put them in lovely. I really like these titles. Next we come to the big gold belt. Same with WCW. Put that up top. And now we come to the World Tag Team titles that were introduced from 2002 to 11. Um, same with the other counterparts. So basically they had one for the brand split. So they had one for Raw and one for SmackDown. Um, the first ones, these up here, were for SmackDown. The other ones were for Raw. Um... I only really only saw, again, the world tag and the WWE tag. I only saw them in the capacity of when they unified the tag titles at Mania 25. That's about the only extent I've ever saw these titles. So I never really got used to them outside of being unified. 
except for looking back like a rated RKO held these titles. Um, oh God, that's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> um, ooh, wow, Evolution held the titles too. Um, I think the more I look at them, I think the better they look to me. So I'm going to put them in all right. All right, after that is, I don't know why some of these are out of order from what I have listed here on my file explorer. They're in different order. I don't know why. Um, now we're going to come to the big green WWF championship from 1982. Um, I mean, it's great that they gave recognition to all the people who have held the title beforehand. Green is an interesting color at that point in time in the 80s. Um, because Hogan ended up winning this title. Because, wait, who? Let me see if I can find it or see who it is. Actually, doesn't say who is the champion. Oh, wait, Bob Backlund. Um, hmm, the big green belt, huh? Um, this is the square side plates is weird because they gave it, they dedicated like a whole, like one whole champion to that. They gave their name and the dates that they held it, um, So, hmm, big green belt, it's not bad, definitely shows its age, so I think I'm going to put it in all right, oh great, that's confusing, 24-7 <laughs> belt, just kidding, um, again, I kind of got to go by then we go to the 85 WWF Championship. That is also Hulk Hogan, so I'm going to skip that. Next, we come to the Attitude Era Championship. So we have the block one in bearable. Now for the Attitude Era belt. Again, it's just probably just me. I know it is just me. Um, the Attitude Era belt. It's not great. It's not bad. It's just me. That I don't think it deserves to be put in the best. So we're going to put it in lovely. And we will definitely reorganize that later. Next is the block logo oval intercontinental championship. This just looks like a total mess. I mean, the side plates are the same. The main plate... Actually, is this image the same? Wait, is this just a repurposed image? It may be. 97 and 99. Block logo? From 97 to 99? Between those dates and the actual design. Deserves to go in the bin. Sorry. Um. Next, we come to the winged eagle belt. And I don't remember where I put that belt in the ECW rank because that's basically the same design they used for the F, um, the ECW TV title. It was a repurposed winged eagle belt. Again, I know it's going to strike a lot of chords with the older audience, we'll put it that way, or the people of that time. Um, looks great with Michaels and... Brett, um, Diesel, not, Diesel, eh, I, just nothing really comes to my mind with this title, um, like, I don't really feel much of anything when it comes to the winged eagle belt, um, 
again, it's a belt of its time, and it just, again, it strikes a chord with a generation of peop fans, and it's not me. Um, so I'm going to put it in all right, but I don't know where. I think I'm going to put it on par with the tag belts, because that's about the same time that they were in. Next is the WWF Women's Championship. Um... Oof, this title's uh, quite ugly, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Um, sky blue strap with gold plates or gold colored plates. Um, bin. What am I looking like for space? Not too bad. I'm going to have to move everything around. Um... Now we come to the women's championship that Alondra Blaze dumped on WCW. Again, a very minimalistic title um, design. It's pink. It's a light pink. The side plates have four flags for some reason. Um, bin. Then we come to another WDF women's championship. And why is this different than the f first one we got to? It's not. Okay. Uh, 84 Women's Championship. It almost looks like the Intercontinental Championship. Hmm. It's not great. So we're going to put that in the bin as well. Let's say I, I think we have to redo the size here because I'm running out of space on OBS. <laughs> um, hold on just one second. Okay, we are recording. Okay, here we go. Um, change everything around a little bit. So, uh, where did we leave? off we left off with uh 98 to 2002 tag team titles um they're about the same as the ones before except they come with the scratch logo uh so i'm just gonna leave them the way they are and we'll come to what is this blue belt here that is the WWWF Tag Team Belts from 72 to 82. They look a lot like belts of their time. They're not a great image of it out there. So, yeah, you, you wouldn't even honestly really begin to tell that it was a tag team belt. Um... Alright, what's this one that looks like the uh, AEW Diamond? <laughs> uh, 1982 to 85 tag team belt. Uh, I I really hate to be bending all these titles, but it's like I you cannot tell beginning with designs and everything what they are. Um, what's this one? The WWWF Championship from 71 to 72. Um, interesting color choice. It's like a blue with green trim. Um, yeah, it's not, not a great looking belt. It's just simple one side plate on each direction and then a middle plate. Um, Okay, next one, if I can find it, the WWF Championship from 72 to 73. Um, all the relief is a different country, so we got one for Japan, France, Canada. For some reason it looks like Maryland or Dublin, Italy, Israel. 
um, the relief is different. It's unique for the relief. The main belt is an eagle with its wings spread. Um, it actually looks better than some of the other WWF titles we've seen in the bin. Um, I'm going to put it in bearable. I'll be honest with you. Uh, this is probably one right afterwards. 73 to 83. I don't know why it says black. Again, I just took these off from um, Pro Wrestling Wiki. It might be just the strap color is what it's being determined by. Oh, this front plate's a little different. Yeah, this front plate's not working for me. Now do I got to change OBS again? Uh, a little bit. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, yep. <laughs> We're getting there. Um, oh gosh, now I gotta, let's see, how do I do this without throwing off OBS? It's not going to happen. Um, we got another, we got a WWF championship. Is that three or four W's? I said three. Um, how many champions do they actually have listed on here in the side plays? Bruno. Oh, defeated Buddy Rogers, May 12, 63, Madison Square Garden. Um, a blue belt is interesting for that time in 63. It's not bad. Middle plate's a little narrow. Side plate's, I mean, obviously there's only been two champions at that point. Um, I'll put it in bearable. Surprisingly, with some of these other titles, and I gotta change this again. Okay, um, there's not many titles left to get through. Oh, I'm gonna throw OBS off. I am so sorry. Um, wait, is that really it? No, we got one more. Uh, it's the WWF Championship. It's a lot like the one before it, except it has more stars on the side plate. Um, really dark blue belt strap color. Can't really tell what anything is. It's almost like the last one I just did. Um, so it's going in the bin. All right. So, gotta throw. Throw that back up there. Okay. So that is majority of the belts. Except for three. Four. Um, oh wait, there's one I missed. Hang on. Uh, the WWF World Tag Team belts. It looks like the NWA belt. With a red glow on it. Globe. From 1985. It looks like the NWA belt and the NWA belt looks great. The 16 pounds of gold or whatever they want to call it. It looks great. Um, I'm going to put it in all right. Where'd it go? Uh, I'll put you there. Come on. There you go. And I believe that is it, except for a few. Um, Custom and minor changes. So, here we are. That we are done ranking every WWE championship again, with a few exceptions like the United States Championship and the Cruiserweight Championship. So, in the best, we have the Intercontinental Championship. That Cody Rhodes brought back. We have the undisputed WWE Championship belt and the big gold belt. Is the Intercontinental Championship better than the undisputed belt? Uh, ooh, no. Is it better than the big gold belt? No. Is the big gold belt better than the undisputed belt? Oh, they're about the same. 
Now is the prior. Excuse me, I'm trying not to belch in the microphone. Um, <laughs> is the new generation intercontinental championship better than the that one? No. Or does any of the lovelies decide to move up? Um, to the best. Because these are about par. The Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships. No. WWE Tag, no. Hardcore, no. Women's Tag, no. Attitude Era, no. Again, my opinion. Again, <laughs> I feel like I really got to reiterate that. Repeat that because everyone's going to be pitchforks in the comments. And all right. The Penny Tags. Do they deserve to move up here? No. Uh, which belt was this? Um, the Hogan 86 belt? No. WWE Championship? No. The White Strap is doing it so much for me than for the women's belt. The Winged Eagle belt? Lovely. No. Tag, no. Spinner, no. 24, no. Bearable? No. Bin? No. Now, does anything move out of the best into the other ones? No. Okay. So that is my tier rankings for WWE Championships. <laughs> Again, my opinion, um, I, f I feel bad that there a lot of the older belts are in the bottom here. Sorry, bottom. Um, I feel bad that they're all in there, but just they, they, oh, they, they age like milk. Um, bearable, yeah. So, again, I'm bound to be wrong at one point or another, so... Let me know in the comments below what you think of this tier ranking. Where would you put your, where would you put some of these belts? Um, that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video. And stay tuned with more content like this as well as any other future content. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. I don't know what other tier list I can do. I have ran out of ideas. <laughs> so thank you everybody so much for watching. And I'll get you guys next time.